Hi there, Adam Parsons here. And you may notice Donald Duck is on the screen. Well, the uh, the other zombie project that I was asked to do uh, was a zombie Donald Duck for a decal on a car. And this is that particular project. Um, the second zombie tattoo video will be posted shortly. I need to put it all together and and tweak a few things uh, before I do that. I also want to show uh, my friend the picture before I post the video. So that needs to be... Uh, I need to get that to her. Anyway, I have to work tonight. Uh, actually, uh, at midnight. So I have to leave in uh, about an hour from now. And so I uh, thought I would do this in the meantime, since I had the footage all ready to go, and all I have to do is comment on it. So, as you can see, I'm kind of cheating with this one. I'm, I'm mostly tracing him. And uh, that was just because that, this was the picture that he, that, uh, he referenced when he asked me to do it. And I decided I would go with it, but I wanted to change it up quite a bit, so you see me kind of playing with the hand here, and then after I got the hand just about perfect for that position, I up and changed my mind, and uh, changed it to another position, so you'll see that very shortly. Oh, there I go. The fickle mind of the of the perfectionist trying to draw a zombie Donald Duck. So I didn't ask in my last video. Go ahead, feel feel free to post any kind of response you want. Um, how do you feel about movie monsters? What are your favorites? Personally, I was always partial to Frank Frankenstein because he was like, I don't know, he was sort of like, almost like a zombie, but he was. He was put together, I don't know, kind of like a robot, I think. Maybe that's why I liked him. I saw him as kind of kind of a robot. And he wasn't a bad guy. He had potential to be good. And, you know, he watched the old movies. It wasn't really a bad guy. He was confused and, and a little bit uh, derpy. I mean, you would be too if, if your brain wasn't all there. The thing that always kind of confused me about Frankenstein was... Uh, that I always wondered, wouldn't he just be who they, whoever's brain they used? Like, in order to use a brain that would work, they would have to get one relatively fresh. Wouldn't he just have all the memories of that person and be that person? Instead of this new new uh, monster? And you'll have to forgive me if I called him Frankenstein earlier. I know he's Frankenstein's monster, but to be fair, if he's if he's sort of the the experiment and the offspring of uh, Frankenstein, then his last name could be Frankenstein too. Unless he has his original memories, then his last name could be like Jones or something. Not sure what I, why I was setting the uh, pen down so much there, but... Oh well. I got the video uh, done, so I'm not going to worry about it now. Well, I just kept walking away for one reason or another. Anyway, this is like 500 times normal speed. I realized uh, that I usually don't find myself using time-lapse. The time-lapse lapse function in the camera, I wind up speeding it up anyway. Um, even though it's there, because... Gosh, what was I doing? Oh well, um, I wind up speeding it up anyway because that lets me control the length of the video. If I just use the time-lapse function, it it completely dominates the length of the video. So, so I've decided uh, that I will rarely use that. Anyway, this isn't just Donald Duck, if you've noticed. He's stepping out of an O and he's wearing a sort of a... Uh, almost like a team mascot kind of uniform, and for those of you who don't know, and personally I wouldn't if I didn't actually move to Oregon, 
is that one of the Oregon College teams is the Oregon Ducks. And they have the license to use Donald Duck as their mascot for whatever reason. And so, uh, that's what they do, and their mascot is actually Donald Duck. He doesn't wear his classic sailor outfit, he wears sort of a modified sailor outfit that uh, more represents the team. And so he wears green and yellow instead of his traditional blue and red. I thought that was pretty interesting. Anyway, you'll see the, the camera change a couple times. I think I forgot to white balance it. So that was sort of a bummer. I was so excited when I found out that this camera had white balance capabilities. You'll notice the Alien vlogs look a lot better uh, recently. And uh, that's because of that, you know, it keeps the color all consistent. I sort of forgot to do that with these, because these are just a... These are such a, an experimental kind of video to make for me. So I tend to forget little details like that. I should definitely think about that the next time I, I sit down to draw something. And that'll keep the lighting consistent at the very least. So if you hear that noise in the background, that's the computer, that humming hear it. And that's just because I'm, when I record these, I'm actually watching the video play in my editor. So it would be relatively difficult to do this without the humming. I would need a better, better setup. Maybe I should make some kind of uh, barrier or something between my computer and the microphone. I don't know. Uh, the microphone is actually my camera, uh, my old camera my uh, standard definition camera that I used to shoot on and I use that because it has a hell of a microphone in it so I wind up using it for my audio because the new camera's microphone is about what you'd expect a regular handheld camera microphone to be and it is very unfortunate so here we go we're getting into the post-processing stuff the stuff that I did after I drew it you see the original then with a little color added then you see me L definition and, and whatnot. Then there's color. And then I tweaked it a little bit more to make him look like a zombie. There he just kind of looks like he's been in a bad fight. So here he is, zombified Donald Duck. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Or you will see me, or maybe you won't, because my videos tend to not actually show me in them most of the time. Anyway, have a good one.